In this video today, I'm going to be sharing a few playlist tips that will help you improve your workflow. Now, the first thing is how to add fades to audio. When you have audio in your playlist, just like I have right here in the bottom here, sometimes you might do some chopping if you're someone that chops a lot of audio. And sometimes you find that your audio has clicks in the beginning as soon as it starts to play. You know what nemesis means? You see, it's just starting like immediately and it has a really hard cut uh, right there in the beginning. So sometimes you'll get clicks that happen and it doesn't sound good. It sounds really amateur, but, but you might want to smoothen that out with a fade. Now, the easiest way you can add a fade to your audio is to double click it like like that if you double click it and then uh, you will see this window pop up and on this window here you come to de-clicking mode and then you come down to this drop down menu and you can add a crossfade like this you can see here these lines came out and if I play it back now you know what nemesis means? automatically now there's fades and what this actually does is that it also adds fades to all the other chops from the same audio file just like you can see here now all my audio clips have fades and if let's say maybe this fade is a little bit too much or if it's too big i can change the type of crossfade i can pick another one maybe a shorter one or an even shorter one like the generic one that's much shorter you know what nemesis means so that my audio doesn't have clicks when it starts playing or when those chops come in, you de-click them nicely. So it's just a nice way to add fades to your audio. The next thing is to move playlist tracks. You can actually move any track up or down here in the playlist. So what you can do is you just hold shift and you scroll your uh, middle scroller button. The scroller button is this button right here on your mouse, this scroller right here. So you just press shift while your mouse is over here and then you just scroll. You can see here I'm moving that line, that track. I'm also moving this one here up and down. And then you can just uh, rearrange if you want to and do what you like, you know, to have a little bit of order in your arrangement to see what you can do. It's a really nice hack that I find uh, really helpful if I want to have uh, like all my uh, tracks in order in my playlist. So I know what's what I like to have my drums uh, on top and then everything else at the bottom. And you can see here I have effects at the bottom like crashes, symbols and the likes and even automations. I like to have them at the bottom of my playlist. That's just my order. But you let me know how you order things in the playlist. Do you do it random or do you have a certain order where you put maybe uh, synths on the top and then drums at the bottom or drums at the top and then synths at the bottom. The next tip I have for you is to create multiple arrangements in your playlist. It's something I've spoken about already but I cannot emphasize this enough. I feel like having multiple arrangements really helps. You might want to experiment with uh, other different arrangements and you don't want to destroy the arrangement that you have at first but you just want to try out different arrangements. But instead of creating a new save like we've been doing before, you can now uh, create multiple arrangements in the same project. Like I have this arrangement right here, which you see, which is uh, from start to finish. The track is nicely arranged. But if I want to try out a different arrangement, let's say I want to have maybe a shorter mix than this. All I can just have to do is just uh, come here to where it says playlist and come here where it says main mix and I can clone, I can rename, I can delete or I can merge with and you can just click on add one and you can create a new arrangement and then you can start over the arrangement without destroying the one that you would have worked on first and I can actually switch between my short arrangement here and my... Uh, my long arrangement. So this could be a radio mix, like an arrangement for radio. If you're going to submit your song to radio or you're going to submit it, uh, you know, as a demo, it's a nice tip to use in just the one project so that you file management, you don't end up with like 10 save files for one project. It really helps. And the next thing here is uh, something that's very simple, but it's something I get asked a lot because I do it without even thinking uh, in my tutorials is the split by channel. Like let's say you've made your drums or you made your music and you've stacked 
all your sounds or various sounds in one channel and then you want to split them by channel all you just have to do is come to the pattern over here on the side and then you right click on it and you come down to split by channel and if you click that it will split all the the channels and then it will create an individual channel for each sound so that's really helpful in terms of you know helping you uh, arrange and split everything so you can uh, work on your arrangement even more instead of just having uh, one channel where there's like multiple sounds inside so it's a really cool tip again all you just have to do is right click on here on the side here and just right click on the clip and then you come down to split by channel and then you can split this clip by all the channels that are in there so it will detect how many channels you have used it won't split the empty ones it will only split the channels that have information in them like channel rack information in them because it will know it will detect the last tip i have for you is very simple it's how to inset markers in your playlist and how to also just color them like you can see here my uh project is colorful it has nice colors it also helps you when you have a big project to know what's what so let's say for instance you want your kick to be let's say a different color than the other ones you can just uh, right click and then you can change the color if you want maybe like a uh, like a blue or a medium state blue like that you can change the color and then boom then you have a nice color uh, just like that and how to insert markers you just want to go right to move your cursor to where you want to insert the marker and go to time markers and you can add one or add auto or add every bar two bars four bars eight bars or jump to next but add jump to next bar so this this window will allow you to pick where you want to add these markers so i can actually add one right here if i want to and i can rename it something something i'll just write something random and then boom there it is and you can actually move this marker if you want to if maybe it's in the wrong place there you go so you can actually move it and if you press alt you can like fine-tune the move you can see here it's it's no longer snapping to the grid because i'm pressing alt on my keyboard and if you just drag it without pressing anything it snaps to the grid so that's something that's uh i find really cool that really helps to just add markers and also add color to the tracks in your playlist so i hope you find these few tips really helpful if you have any you want to add down below make sure you drop a comment make sure to drop this video a like and help it in the youtube ad algorithm and make sure to subscribe if you're new here i would really appreciate that so that you don't miss out on my future uploads i'll see you guys in my next video i am x and i'm out peace